This is how you can make a steel sticker command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have the bot tier, which is the full zip files of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. We also offer three fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so we can go ahead and get started by going over two commands. And we can go ahead and create steel sticker.js. The first thing we can do is get our dependencies. So we're going to go ahead and get our context menu command builder, our embed builder, and our application command type from discord.js. And we're going to do cons fetch equals require node fetch then we can do module that exports and we're going to go ahead and get our data which is going to be our new context menu command builder let's go ahead and set a name to steel sticker we can go ahead and set our type and that is going to be our application command type dot message then we can do async executes we're going to go ahead and get our interaction and we can open this up let's go ahead and start off by doing await interaction dot defer reply and we're going to go ahead and set infermal to true on this. Then we're gonna go ahead and do cons message equals await interaction.channel.messages.fetch from our interaction.target ID. And we can go ahead and get our sticker from our message. And actually we're not gonna do it like that. We're gonna do dot stickers dot first, just like that. So now we have our message and our sticker. We can go ahead and do if no sticker. Then we're gonna go ahead and return await interaction edit reply. And we're gonna go ahead and say no sticker found in that message. Then after we do that, we can go ahead and try and we're gonna go ahead and catch an error. So if we get an error, we're gonna go ahead and console log error and we're also gonna go ahead and reply with a message. In the message, we're gonna get content and that's going to be sticker steel failed from our error, just like that. So that way we give the full error message. Then we can go ahead and go back into our try and we're gonna do const response equals await fetch and we're gonna do sticker.url. Then we can go ahead and do const buffer equals await response.buffer. So we're essentially gonna go ahead and get our URL and we're gonna buffer it into memory so that we can re-upload it into Discord. Um, and we can do that by doing await interaction.guild.stickers.create. And we're gonna go ahead and get our file, which is going to be an object with our attachment. Um, that's going to be our buffer and our name, which is going to be our sticker.name and then we're gonna set that to a PNG. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a comma and we can do name and this is going to be sticker.name.slice and we're gonna do zero to 30. That way we don't go over Discord's name limits for characters. Um, and then otherwise, if it doesn't have a name, we can do sticker and then we can do an underscore and we can do date.now just like that. That way we have a name in case one is not provided. Then we're going to go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder. Let's go ahead and set a color to blurple. And we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and get our globe emoji. And we can go ahead and bold sticker.name has been added to the server. Then we can go ahead and do await interaction edit reply. And we're going to go ahead and pass in our embed just like that. So that's all we actually have to do for this command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our discord, let's go ahead and select a sticker that we want to steal. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one so we can do apps and we can go ahead and do steal sticker. I also made the sticker enlarge command in the previous video, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Essentially, that just gives you the PNG version of the sticker that you have selected. But for this, we can go ahead and steal the sticker. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say the sticker name has been added to the server. As you can see, now we have our brand new sticker, which was just added by the bot, just like that. So we can go ahead and try this a few more times. Let's go ahead and get this sticker, and we can do apps, we can do steal sticker. And it's going to go ahead and think, and then it's going to say it's been added to the server, and we can go over to stickers again, and here it is. Now, if we actually go over into our settings, and we go over to stickers, as you can see, both of these stickers were added by the bot that we're using in this video. So that's how you can make a sticker steal command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.